today for World Art Day, we have here Pam Levy. She's the Great Neck North High School. She's the head department of fine and performing arts there. And here we have Alex Schnechter. He Schechter, sorry about That's that. Okay. <laughs> um, he's a, currently right now he's an actor and a singer, um, but he did attend the Great Neck South High School um, back in the day, and so now he's back with us here in New York. Um, welcome, guys. Thank you for coming. Thank and you for having us. <laughs> We're really thrilled to be here. Yeah, and so. Pam, I want to start with you. Sure. Um, where did you get started? How did you get involved in the arts? In the arts? Well, I come from a um, very musical family. Uh, not only were they steeped in uh, music, but also in fine art. Um, my parents um, were both professional musicians, and my mother um, was an artist. And um, so as a child, um, I learned to play the piano and violin and so on and so forth. And um, then when I was nine, um, my mother took me to audition at the Juilliard Pre-College, and I spent nine years there, and um, then I went on to college as well. And so after college, did you decide that you're gonna, you were going to be a part of Great Neck, um, the community there, the high school? Um, had well, I'd always loved the community, I even though I did not grow up there mm -hmm. specifically, but I had a lot of friends from that pre-college program that did, and they okay. used to take me home on the weekends, and they used to talk about how wonderful the schools were. So it was only natural that when it was time to move somewhere as an adult that I felt comfortable, um, specifically because there is such an awareness of the importance of the arts, mm -hmm. and there's really an emphasis on it in the school district, and they value it, they support it, the community supports it, and so it was um, really, um, really fortuitous, and I am extremely fortunate to have been able to have that trajectory. And how important is it at the school now, having the arts and, and having a program there? Is it? Well, I would say it's extremely important because it gives the students a chance to explore their creativity. It gives them a sense of purpose and a sense of discipline. And I heard a little tiny bit of secret that you actually know Alex here. Yes. <laughs> we know him quite well. Open secret. Now it's out. Now, it's out. Now it's, it's all out. out. Now everyone knows everything. But, um, when I, uh, I'm now currently as department head at, at Great Neck North, but for many years, for 18 years to be specific, I w worked at uh, Great Neck South as the vocal music director. And Alex, actually, I've known since now. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, since fifth grade, mm -hmm. when we did wow. a production of Carmen, and I'll let him talk about yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, when I was in um, elementary school, so the way the op some of the operas work at South um, is that there will be a children's choir that will come in for one scene or two scenes. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I was in fifth grade, uh, the opera at South was Carmen, and Carmen, the role Carmen, was played by Nikki Blonsky, who went on to do Hairspray, yes. um, the movie. Yeah. So I was so I was in that as uh, part of the children's choir. Um, so that was actually the first time I worked with Dr. Levy. Yes, I came wow. over to Saddle Rock School. Mm -hmm. Saddle Rock And Elementary with juice school. and cookies. That's probably right. yeah, may have <laughs> right, encouraged him to be in the arts. The Whatever cookies. it takes, yeah. we, we do what we have to do. That's why I'm here today. Exactly. Yeah, we have we have a little bit of uh, some cookies in the back, right. and I think that's why Alex came, yeah, but that's exactly. okay. <laughs> that's right. So then he went uh, the next time I saw him um, was in high school, and so maybe you want to talk about that? And yeah. Um I well, I, I live in the uh, the district, the part of Great Neck where you can pick between going to North or South. And at the time, North didn't have an opera program. They do now, now that uh, <laughs> Dr. Levy is the department head over there. Um, but they didn't back then. Um, and so I picked South. That was one of the reasons why I decided to go to South. So I, I went to South Middle, and then I got to South High. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I did with Dr. Levy over there was Phantom of the Opera. Okay. That was the musical in uh, November of 2010 is when it was. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I auditioned for that, and um, I was cast in uh, one of the leading roles as a freshman, and I could not sing harmony. <laughs> uh, I had never really done that before, and so we spent 
much time at the piano to do that. Yeah. with her teaching me how to, uh, how to sing harmony and, and uh, harmonize with other, other people. Can you harmonize now? Oh, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it paid off. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and so, Alex, now um, you, I heard you went to Vanderbilt mm -hmm. University. So what did you do when you were there? So I was a uh, vocal musical arts major there, which means I studied um, singing technique, opera, music history, um, all of that stuff, and performed in the operas at the music school. And, and um, so that was my major. My, I had a minor in human and organizational development, which is kind of like a fancy way of saying like business mixed with sociology and psychology. <laughs> um, and uh, and so, but most of my time was spent at the music school, um, practicing or performing or in classes, um, and it was great. I I loved it and I learned a lot. Um, and uh, since it was not a conservatory, it was a university. I was also able to have that um, collegiate experience mm -hmm. that some people who go to a conservatory where there's only a focus on the arts. Mm -hmm. Uh, don't get. So I'm very grateful for that experience. And when it comes to um, at Great Neck yes. North, yes. is that something that your students get to experience as well, doing the arts, but then also doing other maybe curricular activities or other um, classes that they can do, not just to have the arts feel? But oh, also well, do. they're taking the arts as an elective, really. So it's right. not an arts magnet. It, although both sides of town, I would say, sometimes may feel that way <laughs> because there's such a, you know a focus on that. But they take all sorts of courses, and even within the art department, we have everything from architectural drawing um, to ceramics, uh, sculpture and ceramics, and advertising and art. So we have many different um, offerings for students. Um, but the students take everything from um, robotics to computer science. Um, there are many, many offerings that, in ways that students can enrich themselves. And I think as someone who is conservatory trained, I would uh, say that it's so important that unless um, you are someone who really is a self-starter and you're going to make sure to find out that other information, mm -hmm. um, because it is important um, for the art that you are pursuing. It's every bit as important as what you're practicing. But if that is not really um, happening so much for you, it is important to go to a liberal arts college to study those other subjects. So that. And were you ever in a performance when you were little? Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Many. I performed since I was, uh, I guess my first recital when it was when I was nine and um, in the city, at the, which was the Juilliard Pre-College, and then I performed um, solo with, with orchestra, many recitals, I did competitions. Um, I've done a lot of accompanying and a great deal of chamber music. Um, I, today, I mostly work with singers, um, okay. but I do coach chamber music, and on Saturday, I'm on the faculty of the Manhattan School of Music Pre-College. Mm -hmm. Um, where I conduct the Manhattan Chorale and I also developed a course in vocal accompanying where the young singer meets the young pianist and we talk about what needs to be done um, you know on a professional job. Oh that's great. So that's that sounds really doing. interesting. Yes. I wish I had that when I because I played piano when I was little yes. but then you know you, you only have so much that's when true. it comes to the possibilities that you can do. Yes. So something like that it sounds really interesting and yeah. I wish I had that. <laughs> well I guess but, we're talking about the same thing yeah. about that that you have to you know obviously one has to develop the skills within the art itself to have proficiency mm -hmm. and and a sort of a uh, exacting of skills but at the same time there's a diversity of skills I think that are necessary mm -hmm. uh, in order to be successful and I think Alex has that combination uh, going to Vanderbilt and pursuing um, voice there I know you also won some competitions there yeah yeah, was, yeah. yeah. Um, I won uh, there were there's uh, the National Association of Teachers of Singing competition um, that we went to my sophomore and junior year and I placed first in the, the musical theater category um, for uh, the Southeastern Division wow. of, uh, of that competition. Um, so that was fun. And then I couldn't go my senior year because I, uh, I was doing a performance that conflicted 
Um, so you had to pick which right. one. Right. Well, yeah, and I had to. I had to kind of do the uh, the show. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I I placed first uh, both years in that, and. Um, Trying to think if there were other competitions. There's the uh, the classical singer musical theater competition mm -hmm. that I participated in over this one summer, and I placed second in that. And I think that's it, competition wise. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sounds really busy. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what was your favorite performance that you did so far? Oh, ever? Yeah. Do you um, have one? If you have one. Yeah. There's. Right I mean, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, in high school. I, one of, you know, still my all-time favorite productions that I've ever been in, in general, we did uh, La Boheme my junior year of, uh, of high school, which is a Puccini opera, mm -hmm. um, and no high schooler anywhere else in the world, I think, would get the opportunity to do that opera because it's such a yeah. big uh, task to take on. Yeah. But we were able to do that. We had Michael Capasso from New York City Opera come to direct it, and... Um, so that was definitely my favorite of high school. And then in college I did uh, two, two favorites were uh, Bernstein's Mass, which is a huge, a huge uh, production that involves two full orchestras, a jazz band, a blues band, a choir of over 100 people, um, and then 20 plus principal actors, singers. Um, so the production as a whole involved over 200 people and it was a huge spectacle um, of, of an opera, and it was great to be a part of that. And then also in college, uh, my favorite musical that I did was Damn Yankees. I just think that's oh. a very fun, <laughs> a fun show. Um, yeah, and now I've been, since graduating, I've been doing professional productions, and those have been great too. Um, yeah. And Pam, when yes. it comes to today being World Art Day, yes. how important is that for you and the community around in Great Neck? Well, it's extremely important because it's a community that values the arts, and they value it, I believe, because they know just how much of a positive impact it has on young people, not to mention the adult community as well. Um, yesterday, we were actually, our a cappella troupe performed with the Yale Wivenpoos at the Gold Coast Arts Center. Okay. And I can't tell you just what an amazing experience that was for them mm -hmm. to hear the students that are, you know, um, so proficient and so talented and to be able to perform with them and to see the next level of um, what is going to happen for them. But in terms of World Art Day, um, how we should um, really support the arts as much as we can. Um, they are everywhere. Um, sometimes they are overlooked, and but they can do so much for a young child, uh, for their self-esteem, for their intellect, for their hand-eye coordination. There are so many things that are wonderful about them that it's uh, just a you know a terrific thing to be here today to be able to speak about it. And is there any upcoming events that you um, that you have going on? Yes. Um, well, in the near future, um, our chamber music uh, group is going to be performing actually April 17th, 7.30 p.m. at North High School. And then we will do our Art Fest, which is a, a combination of our art department and music department and theater department, which is all which I had. And so we will have um, improvisation, a night of improvisation for theater. We will have an art opening, which will display all of those elements of architectural drawing and painting and sculpture, etc. And then we will have concerto night. Several students will play concerto with the orchestra. And then the um, ultimate, um, the final uh, concert will be the orchestra and the chorus and the band will do that. That will happen the week of May 21st. Um, the final concert is the 23rd. Moving forward, um, I work with the summer program. Mm -hmm. And so on July 31st, we will do a middle school production of The Little Mermaid at uh, Great Neck North High School, actually, even though it is middle school children. That's mm -hmm. where the performance will be uh, held. 
Uh, August 6th, I will um, do a, a night of opera in ILB Park with Jean Selander and Great Neck Plaza. And uh, I'll be featuring um, some wonderful talent as w that we have from the community. And um, that is, I believe that is all. And, uh, and my, the last thing is May 11th in, in Manhattan, I'll be conducting the Manhattan Chorale at 2 p.m. at Manhattan School of Music. And Long list of and I, really and exciting I, and things. And I turn that over to you. <laughs> <laughs> and Alex, and finally, um, where could people find you and, and how could they follow your journey? Oh, uh, well, the next thing I have that I'm performing in is a production of the musical MAME and that opens uh, May 2nd and runs through the end of August and that's with uh, Plausical Theatrical Productions um, and that will uh, that opens May 2nd and uh, the other thing I'm doing right now is a production I just finished uh, Avenue Q um, up in Westchester at Arc Stages so that's we closed that last night um, yeah and there will be more things in to the come future. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming. Thanks we for We appreciate us. it. Yes. And it's exciting. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I remember to a distant bell and stars that fell like rain. shall tell them